Hi, I welcome you in the name of the Lord. This is Life Center Network TV, Gateway to Possibilities. And yes, this is another episode of Encounter with the Power Sin. I'll be taking you on today's episode. And yes, my name is Kelly Martins. I'd like to be called the girl God healed. This is Sid 7, and its topic is death as a mental prison house that's really really powerful i'm just imagining being incapacitated being caged mentally for the sake of the fear of death let's dive right into it the key text is taken from psalms 23 verse 4 yeah though i walk through the shadow of death I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The background text. Death as a mental prison house relates mostly to mental incapacitation that originates from the root of fear. Grieving fear is a type of death when a man is afraid of death, he lives a life that is constantly plagued by the fear of death. His fear keeps him in a mental bondage that one incapacitates him from expressing himself confidently as a result of intimidation. Two, prevents him from relating freely with others because of unnecessary suspicion. And three, deters him from taking necessary risks because of his highly pessimistic nature. People under the bondage of fear only see the negative in everything. There is a saying that cowards die many times before their death, but the brave die only once. One of the dire consequences of remaining in a mental prison of fear is the inability to fulfill destiny hmm. meaning it's not even an option i mean if you are scared and you're scared to the point that you've been you've gotten into, into a mental prison it's not an option i mean you need to get out of it if you must fulfill purpose fear truncates grace fear stops you from living life to the fullest your decision to fulfill destiny must require that certain risks are taken. Refusal to take the risk you need to take will automatically keep you on the periphery of life where you will make only neg achievements. The coward, the fearful, never fulfills destiny. They prefer to live the 9 to 5 life sitting at ease in their predictable comfort zone and achieving only very little. God didn't call you out to achieve only average results. Hmm. Can we just personalize that? Can you just say that to your heart? I believe that from time to time we, we have certain restrictions because of fear, but can we just make this statement personal? Can you just put your name there? Kelly. God didn't call you out to achieve only average results. He has called you to accomplish extraordinary feats. Yes. For instance, if David had been the normal shepherd boy who was keen on achieving only ordinary results, the Philistines through Goliath would have subdued Israel in a very shameful confrontation. Also, if Abraham was a fearful individual who lacked the courage to embark on a journey that required him to leave the comfort zone of his father's house, the nation of Israel might never have been born at God's stipulated time. Application Fearful men die defeated by life's circumstances. Fearful men die without living to their full potential. Fearful men 
die without reversing the shame of their father's house. Fearful men die prematurely and fearful men die without the hope of eternity because they are constantly afraid of hinging, sorry, afraid of hinging their trust on the simplicity of the gospel. Hmm. Are you a fearful man? <laughs> okay. The constant fear of death leads to an uneventful, uninteresting, boring life. It pushes one to a point of compromise and bondage. Worse still, fear brings to physical manifestation what one is already afraid of. Fear is an enemy. Fear is a trap. And fear has absolutely nothing, I mean nothing good, to offer to you. I feel this part needs to be repeated. It says, fear brings to physical manifestation what one is already afraid of. And that got me thinking. I mean, I'm th thinking about it now. How many times have you been scared of things and they actually came to pass just because you were scared of them? That means there are chances that most of the things that happened that we are scared of happened because we were actually scared of them. And things could have been different if we fearlessly just approached them. <laughs> I remember when Job said that the things he feared greatly had come upon him. <laughs> I pray that the Lord will give us the strength to overcome our fears whatsoever they are. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Prayer. Can you please repeat after me? Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke the spirit of fear and I cast it out of my life forever. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Action point. Meditate on this portion of the Bible. Job 3 verse 25. The daily Bible reading is taken from Ezekiel 41. 243. Thank you so much if you stayed up until now and I hope you were able to pick up something. I'll see you some other time. Bye. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook at Life Center Network TV. Keep, Keep watching, watching Life Center, Center Network, Network TV. TV. Your, Your gateway to possibility. possibility. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.